money shot here weather wise as we turn our attention to our pinpoint forecast. This is a live look down Independence Boulevard in East Charlotte. While it is looking pretty good and peachy for right now, we are expecting some storm chances later on today. See a few storm clouds hanging mm -hmm. off to the right there for a timeline of where and when. Let's get right over to Tara. Tara? Yeah, almost like a summertime picture there with mm -hmm. the extra heat and maybe a little more humidity out there today. Not quite as humid as the summertime for us here in the Carolinas. But yes, some of that could lead to a few hit or miss showers or storms before the evening's out. Most of us are nice and dry, though, for that late afternoon and early Early evening commute as we look around and temperatures are sitting in the upper 70s to lower 80s. 81 currently in the Queen City with a fairly light west southwest wind at about eight miles an hour. It's just a, a touch breezy or occasionally gusty at times. Relative humidity at 50%. So certainly climbing compared to last week when we were on the cooler side too with those temperatures with those dew points sitting in the lower 60s. We've got low to mid 80s. As we look in places like Albemarle down through Wadesboro, Rockingham, Chirac is one of the hotter spots there at 84. 82 heading up into the foothills around Morganton and Lenore. We've got 80 in Gastonia and the nice feeling mid and upper 60s up in the mountains. So later on tonight while we're sleeping, temperatures only start to cool back down through the 60s. We'll settle around, say, the lower side of the 60s briefly around sunrise in the morning. But that could come with some rain, too, as we'll be tracking a cold front getting a little closer to us from the north and west. So here today as we scan around on radar, the only rain that we're picking up, a couple of little tiny showers there closer to the triad and southwest of you all there in Cleveland County heading down into the upstate. Just a little bit of rain. We've had some another cluster of storms marching through eastern Kentucky, but notice with the radar in motion how most of that is moving kind of due east. And so a lot of that will miss us. However, again, a few hit or miss showers or storms could continue to bubble up or try to bubble up uh, over the next few hours in parts of our area, but most of us will stay dry. And as I said, dew points have been climbing today, 50s, low and mid 60s, so just a little bit in the humid zone. And as we take it out, actually, through the next couple of days, with that cold front coming in tomorrow, that will put us a little more in the comfy zone, not like it's terribly muggy out there or anything this afternoon. But notice then what happens as we head into the weekend. We are back more on the humid side as we'll be tracking ahead of another cold front that will bring us more rounds of some showers and storms possible for the weekend. So heating up tomorrow afternoon, actually directly ahead of that front, high temperatures get a little closer to 90. That could come with a few more hit or miss showers and storms but behind the front. Back to the nice and dry weather and slightly cooler temperatures as we head through the middle part of the week. We're down to 63 to start the day tomorrow. Not bad and then heating up to 88 tomorrow afternoon. West southwest wind and then here comes that front. You can see on the surface map for tomorrow. So heating up and with that system coming in. That could provide us with that extra forcing for those spotty showers and storms. Now, as for the rest of this evening, here's what I was talking about. So 6, 7 o'clock or so, it is still possible. Future radar wants to give us still that slim possibility of a stray shower, maybe a rumble of thunder. And actually, the rain chance, as we'll be ahead of that front, getting a little closer, will continue through late tonight. And especially tomorrow morning could be a little on the wet side there in the mountains and foothills, although that may be a little overdone. But just know that the chance of rain will continue into the night and early tomorrow and then we break out with some sunshine tomorrow with the daytime heating through the afternoon. A few more spotty showers and storms will be a possibility. Now you're wondering maybe about the severe risk. Any damaging thunderstorms could be in the works. Well, that risk is a little bit higher, more to the east of Charlotte, especially over eastern portions of North Carolina, but heading east along Highway 74 and out toward Rockingham. If we do get an isolated, stronger storm, damaging wind gusts and even some hail, it's going to be the two main threats. All right, so dry and just a little bit cooler through Wednesday and Thursday. Lots of sunshine. Then the clouds roll back in with that next front coming in for the weekend. And for Mother's Day on Sunday, if you're taking mom out, looks like a pretty warm one. Look at that high, 89 degrees. Thank <laughs> you.